Hey, today I'm going to compare the old drywall banjo to this new tool called the Tape Buddy drywall tape taping tool. We're going to do that right after this. So hey, the old standard for taping drywall has been with a pan and a knife, or with a banjo, or with a bazooka like in this picture. We're gonna show how we tape with a bazooka on this job, but we're also gonna compare these other methods. And today in this video, I'm gonna compare the, the old drywall banjo to the new product called the Tape Buddy Drywall Taping Tool. Now, I will tell you this is a sponsored video, so I have been paid for doing this video, but I never will give you guys a bogus review, no matter if they pay me or not. I'm gonna tell you just what I think about this, and there are some negatives. I'm gonna give you that, but I took this on because I think it is a good product for a lot of you. So first of all, let me get into who is this geared towards? Is this for a total novice or is this for pros or what? Well, this tool is basically for those of you that just do some drywall taping and finishing now and then, whether it's a small repair or you just dabble in it or like if you're doing a remodel or a small job like this, this would be pushing it because this is like three rooms. It could take you a while, but if you wanna save money you can get it done with this, I'm pretty confident. Now, I have never tried this, so we're gonna try it today and see what my actual opinion is. But I'm also gonna compare it to this banjo. Okay, so let me talk about what I see as the, some of the advantages to this. Well, number one, it's made out of some really sturdy plastic material. I believe this is HDPE, and it's, it's got a really sturdy feel. So I think it's gonna hold up to whatever you put it through as long as you don't try and use this as a ramp for your motorcycle or something. Now, also, because of it all being all plastic, it's gonna be easy to clean up. It's not gonna rust. There's no rut parts to rust. Even on the drywall banjo, even though it's mostly aluminum, we have metal parts that like to rust up, hinges and things like that. This doesn't have any of that. This is something that you guys can use regardless of your skill level. If you've never spread mud before, you don't have to know how with this. You do not have to know how to spread the mud on the wall, lay the tape in it, all that. It's got a setup here where when you pull this joint tape out of here, it's going to put the mud on for you and it's gonna put it on nice and even. It's actually designed to put it a little bit heavier in the middle and we'll show you a close up of that in a minute. And that's gonna give you just a nice, perfect base of mud. Then all you gotta do is know how to wipe it and get it to adhere to the wall, to bed the tape. And I'm gonna show you that too. So it's a uh, lightweight. I think it's much easier to run than a banjo. It also could be used by two people because the way you use this is basically you put the mud in here you pull out a, a piece of joint tape and you cut it off and you go install it on the wall. Well, the next person, if you got two of you, he could walk over or she, grab it, pull it out. So you could put on quite a bit with two people, but is it gonna be as fast as a banjo or a bazooka? No, it's not going to be. That's, that would be one of the drawbacks to it is you can only put, pull out about four to six feet at a time and so, you're gonna be putting a lot of little pieces on, whereas a banjo or a bazooka, you can do continuous runs. But now let's talk about this good old banjo. This is my most hated tool. I've owned one of these for a long time, but honestly, I find them to be really difficult to run. I can do it, but it's, it's hard to run. You gotta stick your hand in here or hold this handle, and I never could make the handle work, so, I stick my hand in here 
you're holding out this big hopper full of mud and it holds quite a bit in there it gets heavy and you're holding it out at this angle like this if you're doing walls or overhead if you're doing ceilings and honestly that gets pretty heavy after a while then the way to to cut the tape off is you have to run it to the end and twist this and when that tape is wet and you're trying to do this sometimes it's really difficult to cut other times it's not too bad it's just a real pain and as it gets low you can't see it you can only feel it so eventually it gets low enough it, it starts leaving uh, voids where you didn't get enough mud on the tape and that's going to cause you a blister this thing here you can see the mud in here you'll know when you're getting low it's really easy to just put some more in you shouldn't have any excuses for getting blisters with this thing so one of the advantages to the banjo and probably the biggest one over this is you can do continuous runs as long as your tape and your mud doesn't run out as far as you want to pull it you can do 20 feet 30 feet at a time so it is going to be faster in that respect and i'm going to demonstrate that i'm going to tape this long joint with this and i'm going to tape a shorter one and some of the butt joints with the tape buddy and you'll see that uh, they both should do the job but this one's a little faster albeit a lot more of a pain to run one other advantage it's pretty <laughs> no seriously i mean it does look kind of cool but they also i want to point out that tape buddy also sent me this bucket scoop they call it the scoop and scrape so we're going to use that to fill this hopper up so the way this tool works is when you get it you break off this tab right here and you install it down here and there's instructions on the side there's full instructions on the side of this tool it's kind of uh, embossed on here the simple gist of it is you break the tab off you put it in here there's two sides one side will give you a thicker amount of mud on and then you put the joint tape in you feed the joint tape down through there and then it just comes out the other side so you can see here where the joint tape goes in it just goes across the bottom comes out the bottom side over here we're going to fill this up with mud it's going to apply it as we pull it out okay so the other thing is this has some notches right here it's meant to fit over your bucket now i recommend two buckets like this or put it on a platform you want it to be up you don't want to try and run this off the floor it would be a lot harder for a couple reasons so we got it up here we're using some uh, hamilton's or westpac blue dot taping mud now you can use regular all-purpose or you could even use plus three as long as it's a all-purpose type mud or taping mud so this bucket scoop this is really handy now i think this thing's made really well too it feels really durable it's got a little flex to it but it basically fits the shape of the bucket so we're going to scoop some out with it and you can see as we wipe up it it cleans the bucket off pretty good pull out a little bit and then cut that off and you want to have a scrap bin so you can drop your pieces like that into it and then we're going to pull out about i want to do a, one of these butt joints so i'm going to pull out roughly four feet we're going to have to put more on so i'm going to say a little bit more than that and then we just cut it off now we're going to come over here to this butt joint so we'll come over here and just press it onto the wall and kind of center it you can see i came up a little bit short i know they're putting wide base on so i'm going to pull it up a little bit okay now i got it on we just take like our eight inch knife here i like to have a little bit of mud on here just help smooth it out when i start just wipe it you generally don't want to start at the very bottom it can make it wrinkle like that which i made it do that on purpose so lay your knife down wipe it you want to wipe it till you've wiped out a fair amount of the mud but don't wipe it too tight so i'm going to show you in a second how to hold your knife right that will help with that and then we'll just come down here and finish it off 
and you know that that was fairly simple okay we'll go ahead and fill that up because that seemed to be about the right thickness for that and I'm just going to lay my knife here while I grab this and pull it out see how it's putting more in the middle and less on the sides and nice and even that's going to eliminate the chance of blisters or at least gr greatly reduce it so we'll do about that much come over here now we could go ahead and put a second piece on but a lot of times it's easier to do one piece at a time because i'm going to show you why so if you really wanted to put a much longer piece on what you could do is kind of double this over and grab and pull a little bit more i wouldn't get too carried away though and that's probably going to do all we want to do over here okay and you can see we got fair amount too much well simple to fix we just come over here and cut this off like that we want to leave a slight overlap we're going to go from about here towards the corner first so what you want to do is hold your knife at about a 45 degree angle put medium firm pressure on it and wipe across now because we got this overlap if you come up here and get careless you're going to hit it so just be careful if you do it like this and we'll straighten that out a little bit and then we'll do the rest of it across here okay i see that i got a slightly dry edge right there i can spot those it's really easy to fix but i'm going to flip that plate around and see if maybe i have this on the less mud side because i was a little confused which way to put it so i just filled that in and that's really all you got to do if you're just going to tape that hey if you want to increase your learning power a thousand percent be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up after you subscribe look for that bell click the bell and you'll get notified of all the videos okay since i switched this over to the thick setting and that side seemed to come up a little short we're going to do this recess joint here and try and and see if that makes a difference and i have the mud at a better thickness it's not so thin oops i made the mistake of pulling up i knew better don't pull up you have to pull level or down or there's a little blade there that'll wipe the mud off so i'll just cut it off right there I'd say that's a lot better. The thinner mud and the thicker setting, that looks perfect right there. All right, now I said I was gonna demonstrate the banjo. when you load the banjo up you load it up like this with the paper curling up around the top and the mud goes in here you generally want this pretty full I'm just doing a little sample taping here so you close it over joint tape in here pull out a little bit to get rid of it and you can see it's putting mud on but it puts it on the same all the way across now with a banjo you can control how thick the mud goes on by adjusting this part which changes the opening right here so with this thing we hold it like this and you're gonna see it's a lot faster but like I say it's a little more difficult to run you, you generally want to get it up here and just kind of smack it to the wall then you got to hold it so it doesn't slide with you otherwise it will And then as we get to the corner, we figure out about how much we need and it's going to cut off right at that blade. So we get to there and <clears throat> tear. And that's what I mean about it. it kind of fights you on the tear. 
and I've sharpened this thing up with a whetstone and it still seems to fight you. And then the same thing, we... Now you can see I've actually got the banjo set up to put even more mud on, but that's okay. Then we want to make sure we clean everything out of the corners here. And that's basically it for that. So what are my thoughts on, my final thoughts on the tape buddy? Well, honestly for small jobs, I would go with this, you guys. This is cheaper, easier to run. Yeah, you gotta tear off a bunch of little pieces, but it gets the job done. And with all the advantages it's got over the banjo, I wouldn't break one out. Now, if you're gonna do much like the size of this one, yeah, then maybe a banjo but you probably need to be a pro and in pretty good shape because it's going to work out pretty good. This thing will be easier on you. And hey, I think just about anybody could do this. I bet a 10 year old, you could have your kids helping you pull this out, go stick it on the wall. So I'm going to have to give this an enthusiastic thumbs up for what it's for. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you out. And I'm going to put a link to this and everything else in the description right down below the video. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.